wait, hold on. I'll introduce the players. There we go. That's better. That's okay. better addiction, sure. I think. In the bottom left, we have our yellow Protoss. He is down one game after falling to the proxy zealot shenanigans of his opponents. He is the German Protoss Nemitz the Destroyer. And that was a terrible accent. I apologize so much. In the top right, we have our green Protoss, Mel, who won the last game. I'm not going to try and add anything else to that because I've already destroyed myself. My ego has been bruised by my... by I did it to myself. I... That sounded a lot like when Alan Rickman tried to do a German accent in Die Hard. <laughs> it just it wasn't right at the all. Sound it, wasn't, it wasn't bad, but it was very good to fit me. Like it. The sound of pure evil. It was very good to fit me like it. The sound of pure evil. And I would not be surprised to see Nimitz scout a bit better this game. <laughs> not either. Although this map is very hard to search for the proxy tech. It is. Hence, my love of the cheese on this map. He is already uh, scouting inside his base, though. Yes, this, he is. This probe. Okay, so I, I prove might. that. Yeah, let's see where this probe is. I'm going to follow this probe. I'm curious where he goes. Checking behind the natural. Okay, good. Yeah, he's We're really. Good he's I'm going to go check at the third base location. All right, nothing here. All right, good. <laughs> so far, so good for Nimitz. He's like, oh, thank God. Both of these players are actually <laughs> making sure that there's nothing in their own natural. There we go. It smells like he's going to counter cheese me. He's going to counter cheese me. I just, I feel like, you know, at this point, if Mela had just gone with some strategy that was uh, that was very late game dependent and had that lack of scout, that would have been very beneficial. So there you go. Mind games. Mind games. Always mind games. When in doubt, I, mind game. I don't play mind games because I'm just not that smart. See, I overmind game because I'm too smart, and I just lose. Really? So. I feel like you should just play the game, and then maybe sometimes the other person will consider that you're metagaming when you're not, mm -hmm. and then they'll, like, try and outsmart you, but then they lose because you were just gaming. I just I, I just game. I game so hard. Game <laughs> you, so hard. You have a lot of... You do a lot of things so hard. I feel like you I need do. to take I'm, some I'm more very time. enthusiastic. I, you know, you just don't do anything half-assed. No. I just want to hear you do something less, like, intense so hard. Like, I nap so hard. I nap, I nap so hard. I, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. I, I drink milk out of the count's cart so hard. <laughs> anyway, we're going to have a two-gate opening, uh, likely leading in three stalkers from our green Protoss Mel. And on Nimitz's side, looking a bit more standard, adding in that second gas. And we'll, we'll have to see if he goes for a quick tech here. Blink Stalker's not the best map for them, but they're always good to a certain extent, and he very well could go for them now. Could he? Could he really? He could. Well, hell, even Mel could too if he wanted to. <laughs> yes. I feel they're, like they're, both, they're both more than capable. Yeah? I th if they got this far, I certainly hope so. <laughs> Mel's like, oh, I use, my old, I use the only build I know. I'm just kind of like, oh, I'm doing whatever now. <laughs> I feel like that may be the case at this point. Like, fatigue takes its toll, man. That's it's one like, thing oh, wait, this, really... is, this is a best of three? Oh, crap. I can't just proxy uh. two gate every game? Oh, man. Hey, wait, it's you again. <laughs> oh, crap. <laughs> I thought this was best of one single limb all the way through. No. <laughs> Why am I even I here? Not the third qualifier said nothing with round one. In any case, Nimitz can be poking forward with the Stalker and the Zelotron to get a whole lot done here. Placing a proxy pylon, smelling some tasty, tasty aggression here, maybe, if he uses this, decides to use this pylon. But only two gates coming up, so he can't really get too excited about this. But uh, Or I guess we can. I don't know how excited he is, uh, so I, can't, I won't speak for him here. But on Melee's side, he is adding in his robotics facility. We'll be getting those immortals out for the defenses. Uh, I think it could work out very well for him. It all depends on what uh, is going to go ahead and pop on next and the level of aggression melee. Again, feeling very comfortable, but the sentries are out. He's got the force field energy. He really shouldn't be all of that worried. The third sentry will be out in plenty of time to go ahead and get the force field down as well. So as long as he doesn't miss, miss one, he'll be absolutely fine. Uh, just skip that observer, go right into that immortal, and, uh, and that will make melee very happy. Looks nope. like Nimitz may have watched our earlier cast, and he's like, three gates, three gates work. What? He's like, oh, oh crap, we made a sentry. Look at that. It goes, oh! oh! <laughs> really cute. That was, that was okay, that was clutch. All right, get those, that, those are some dead sentries right there. That was awesome. That was amazing. I didn't think it was going to work out that well. Pro for sentry. Him. Wow, very yeah. nice. And, uh, two sentries for free there. This this sentry, MVP, where'd he go? I want to celebrate you. Look at you. Oh, Yes. Well done. He's, he's all like, oh no, look who's out of position. Gotcha. Big plays. Big plays. It's very good. And the fact that it's a robo facility popping up immediately, uh, not so good for the melee. Now, unfortunately, Nimitz is, it was expecting 
his opponent to have blood in their veins instead of ice water. So he wasn't expecting his opponent to just totally just go like, screw it, Colossus. Hmm. Uh, but fortunately, that's the case. So this expansion may actually be an ill move, depending on what's going to happen. Yeah, but this, if, if he decides to push with the early Colossus, and I feel that's the, that would be the strongest move, but he doesn't necessarily know that. We'll see if he scouts out a little bit, or if he makes an Observer as well. Did he make one um, at all? Let's see. Nope. Observers, either player? Nope, neither player has one. Neither player do. has any Observers. Neither player so, cares. Yep. So scouting, bah. Follow my builds to the T. PTE, that's it. I know what you have. You have to make the shoot please. This is ridiculous. So, Nimitz can be going for the Immortals and not rushing straight into the Colossi. But, well, he does a Robox Bay on the way, so I guess this makes sense. I don't know why I'm, I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Anyway, but he will I, be behind I, in the Colossi by about one. And Nimitz actually gets. Oh, the pylon's taken out, so that's where this pylon came from. That proxy pylon is eliminated. And Mel's gonna move out with his ragtag group of ragtag little army right here, a little one of everything action going yeah, on. Yeah, right yeah, yeah. He's the he's the Noah of Protoss. Yeah, and with that Colossus, eh, he'll be quite good. But let's take a quick look at the unit count in general. There are five stalkers for Nimitz, and that's the only advantage he really holds right now. And against that Colossus, especially without Blink, not gonna be as effective as he would like. And oh, he lose these two stalkers for free though potentially. But here comes the Colossus, and now Nimitz is like, oh, uh oh. He turns tail and runs for the hills. His Colossus has only just now started. And uh, let's just see how this goes. He's going to try and run in here with the Zealots. And here they come. Where are the force fields? They don't get crushed by the Colossus immediately. But still a lot of army for him. It's, uh, I guess he just warped the production a bit more there. And I don't know, even with the Colossus, I don't know if he can do a whole, a whole lot more here than he's already done. I mean, it's a lot of pressure that he's put on. He definitely wants to get up that ramp, especially as he's not attempted to expend at any single point here. Force field's going down like There's the Guardian obstacles. Shield as well. Huh. The I Colossus mean, he's got the sentry just... energy for it. So. And the Colossus just basically has free reign right here. Uh, now he's going to start getting focus fired a bit. He moved a little too far forward. And the Immortal will get taken out. And that's a lot of the ranged DPS of of Nimitz. And oh, his own Colossus is just finished as well. And he, oh, that's a lot of army still left yes. over there. And that, oh, that high ground pylon as well. The Warbit. And that's a quick game there. And Nimitz will fall.